often people say when you see something you know that's the one you can look elsewhere but you'll always come back and yeah I did. Hi my name's Val Adlington. We purchased this home almost three years ago to December and it's been a project of love and passion. It was something that we bought because we just loved the house. We were looking for, for people to build with. I said to John, come and come and sit with us, come and have a coffee. Can you come and have a look at this house and tell us whether it's something you'd be willing to take on? And of course he did. And um, then Neil was the obvious choice. And we've just been so happy. It's just been so easy to work with Beyond Ink. Lindy's been a delight. Yeah, my name's Lindy. I've been working at Beyond Ink for four years and, and trained as an architect. We were approached by the client two years or so ago and they bought the old house and it was in a, a major state of disrepair and it was more or less gutted and they were looking to put a, um, a contemporary addition to the side of it. I designed the, the house and the addition to the house liaise with the client with the with the various ideas that, that we had to retain um, the integrity of the old building. We sort of separated the new from the old. We were involved up until the builder um, started to build it and I've been involved oh, on and off since it's been built when as required. On Neil Shoals, we do um, one-off homes and uh, renovations and uh, additions. This is a very modern concept on this side of the house and on the other side we have the older style. They were tried and true. We've used them before and this was way more than the last project, got to say. Neil, I'm going to miss his face. I see him almost every day uh, for the last two years. It's been easy. It's not been short of its hurdles, but it's been achievable hurdles. There was um, some challenging times. We had the undercroft and there was a huge hole in the dirt here. And so we built up and it, as you can see around, if you look, it's quite a height. I don't know very much about bricks or the composition of bricks. Um, all I know is I just love looking at it and I love looking at it next to the old sandstone home. It's, it's a delight to just drive up that street and see those bricks and how they bring the house back to life. They give it some status and they've brought it into the 21st century, I think. Yeah, we've always found Little Hampton very, um, very easy to deal with and, and nothing's ever too hard. I liked the range so much because I, I visited Little Hampton a number of times and um, the range of bricks was, was really a great range of all different colours. The colours um, that um, picked up the, the lighter creams and also the red brick um, in the blush range, uh, I think really um, brings out um, and enhances the old, old house as well as that contemporary addition. And even looking at a small um, elevation of the brick on its own and then having the expanse of it on that building, it's, it's a really beautiful product. I'm actually a uh, red brick person and um, I guess this being a red brick, it falls into my category perfectly. I actually just love the brick myself personally, but at the end of the day, it's, it's what the client chooses. And I was glad Val chose Little Hampton Bricks because these are a one-off brick. Uh, which suits my projects, you know, to the nth degree. Well, I'm very happy with the final results. Um, I think the, the mortar colour is um, quite spectacular and, and it enhances the brick itself. And once again, um, if the client's happy, I'm happy too. Love it. Love it. The house, the build, love it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs>
yeah, I think it's, um, I'm really pleased with, with the way it's all come together. And um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful house.